Okay, hi everyone, this is Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe. I uh, was just doing a quick test here and wanted to share the results with you live. Um, I've got two test prints running here, one on the uh, Creator on the right and one on the Creator X on the left. Both are printing the same thing. This is a test of a new finger design that a fellow Enable volunteer by the name of Skip Meats put together. And uh, the idea here is to try to come up with a finger design that has uh, integrated, flexible, living hinges such that uh, you can print the whole finger in place and the flexible portions for the joints are built right into the print. In this case we're using a nylon based material, uh, this is a bridge nylon, Tallman bridge nylon on the, on the left there on the Creator X. Uh, on, the, on the right over there, I'm using an experimental material that has not yet been released to the public, so I'm not going to be able to talk about that one publicly here, but I will share those results with you, Skip, privately. And uh, we're going to see just, just now it's finishing up here. So this is the Bridge Nylon print. And uh, so you're seeing this for the first time, just as I am. I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, use my spatula to get this off here. Okay, came off pretty nice, and now I've got some support material to get rid of here. I'll put a little bit of support under these flexible hinge portions, which as you can see are built right in there, and I put a little support here in the in the space where this is going to connect to the palm. This was designed to go along with Steve Wood's Flexi Hand 2 design, which I happen to have a print of right next to me. I don't know if we're in the same scale here, but uh, boy, I'll tell you right now that it's got pretty good movement to it. I gotta clean this up a little bit. My bottom layer got just a bit messy there, but um, wow, that's that's pretty interesting, Skip. It seems very strong as the nylon materials go. I'm giving that a really good pull and that's not going to break easily. But it's got nice flexibility. I don't know if it's got enough you know, stiffness for the return movement without using the flexible cables like we've been using. I don't know if that was a goal or not. Um, maybe if we added a little bit of thickness uh, in those flexible joints even, you could achieve that. Um, the other material I'm testing actually has more flexibility, so we'll follow up on that. That might have some interesting results. But that's, that's already looking pretty, pretty interesting here. I'm just going to grab the, this is a sample print I did of the Flexi Hand 2. I'm curious if, if I can just pop this on here, since you've designed it for that. Well, sure enough, look at that. So, uh, wow, I'd say for a first test, that's uh, it's pretty intriguing, Skip. I, you know, I, th I, th I think a little further work might be needed, adding maybe a little more material. Those those hinges are looking a little bit thin to me, um, and if we want that nylon to be trying to handle the return motion, I think you're going to want to add a little bit more material in there. You'll still have plenty of flexibility, as you can see. Um, when you when you add the cable in for the for the grass motion, but um, you know as it is right now, it, it moves every bit as well as the other ones that are done in the with the Ninja Flex joints. Um, those actually I made a little bit uh, with with a little bit too little on the infill. I think I want to go a little more on those because they were also a little too flexible. But uh, in your case here on on the nylon, I, I think that could be addressed just by making those middle pieces just a little bit thicker but uh, this is uh, pretty cool